chocolate is freaking delicious. Cacao tea, let's talk about it. Before I start this video, I just want to let you know that I was in the middle of an eczema breakout here and I discussed that more in the video linked somewhere around here. So please be nice in the comment section and let's talk about cacao. I could go off about how obsessed I have been with chocolate ever since I was a child. Not a lot of people like dark chocolate because we're so used to having processed sugar in a lot of our foods. So when people just kind of eat raw chocolate or taste chocolate without sugar, it's as if it's not real chocolate or ooh, it's too bitter, when in reality that is actually what you're supposed to taste. The one that I am talking to you about today, which is this cacao tea, is seriously just the shell of the cacao. If you have an appreciation for dark chocolate, if you kind of like the bittery notes to it, then you would appreciate this a lot more. Right off the bat, you don't need to feel guilty about drinking this because there's no sugar involved. It's literally just water and a roasted cacao husk. So it starts off as this pod, you open it, and then all the seeds are basically covered in this white, slimy texture, and you can eat that. Afterwards, they take that seed, let it ferment for a few days, and then after that, they let it sun dry, and then after that, they roast it. What you're trying to get for chocolate is the actual seed itself. And in order to get that seed, there's that little layer of covering on the outside, and that covering is the husk of it. So after it's roasted, I forgot the word for it, winnow, they winnow it, they take the seed and they take off that little shell, and those little shells are what is in this tea. It's just the shells itself, but essentially you can see it, right? It's kind of been ground up a little bit. There is theobromine in here. There is zero caffeine in this. I am the type of person that the slightest bit of caffeine will have me wired in a really bad way, as in I get anxiety, paranoid of a lot of things. So most teas I stay far away from unless it's herbal. And this is an herbal drink. Theobromine basically acts like caffeine, but it is milder so you don't kind of get that surge of anxiety like I usually do, and it lasts longer than caffeine. And honestly, I prefer chocolate over coffee, so. Now let's talk about the taste of this really quick. It may look questionable, right? But it does, it looks like your standard cup of coffee. I personally like drinking it in really small amounts instead of watered down big portions because this is really all I need. I'll probably have one in the morning and then if I need a pick me up, I'll have it around two or 3 p.m. But it's insane because when you smell it, it just smells exactly like chocolate. And when you drink it, it just kind of, envelops your tongue and you get that slight taste of chocolate, but the bitterness of just the cacao itself. Now, people add sugar to it. You can add honey to it. Um, one study that I read said that you should not drink actual dairy milk with this, as in from cows, because it inhibits the ability for your body to properly digest the nutrients that this brings you, a few of which are like iron and magnesium. I have almond milk, there's coconut milk. I like drinking it on its own just like this, and I have had nothing but an amazing experience. I put maybe a tablespoon for one cup just like this, because I really like that chocolatey taste and then I steep it for four to five minutes. That is how I like my tea. I have tried steeping it for 10 minutes, but at that point it gets like way too, way too bitter. So five minutes I think is the sweet spot. You get a little, you still get the chocolatey notes and then a little bit of the bitterness. When you smell it, it already just makes you so much happier. When I do yoga in the morning, I have tea either before, during, or after. And it's just such a lovely way to start, especially winter mornings. The one that I get, the one that I use is this one. I got this off of Amazon. It is a pound, like one pound, huge bag. When I got it off Amazon, I saw that it was a pound, but I didn't expect it to be this big. However, it, it's not like filled all the way up to here. Sorry, my, my hand is sticking, but it's not filled all the way up to here. It's like around here. Of course, when it shakes, it's 
it just gets distributed um, differently. One pound lasts you such a long time. This is definitely one of my like must-haves every single day and I'm not joking, I'm not saying that because I'm on YouTube. I genuinely drink this every single day, it's concerning. Theobromine isn't as addictive as caffeine is, so you won't get the headaches, you won't get um, any of the other side effects that come with it. Every single morning, this is something that just amps me up because I get to have it in the morning. After I'm done eating, it's also, if I don't wanna have a dessert on its own, I can just smell this and just be absolutely content. So I'm trying to get everybody on cacao tea, so we'll see how that goes. If you end up purchasing this, if you end up purchasing this, let me know. I, I'm not affiliated by with them by any means, but hey, Oliver Pluff and Co, if you wanna sponsor me, let me know. <laughs> that is my video for you all today. I hope you enjoyed it. I just finished filming another review of Ilya Serum, so if you're interested in watching that, I'll put the link somewhere up here and down in the description box below. Thanks everyone, bye.